Welcome to basic science class. Today we will be talking on a topic named simple machines and um, it's not really simple machine but underneath we are looking at gear. Gear. So as you can see right here you can see it's moving and don't forget to stay at the right place free of noises and distractions and I'm still Oh yeah, let me join it today. So I hope we're going to have a wonderful class together. So over to our objectives for today. At the end of this class, you must be able to um, know the meaning of gear. You must be able to define, okay? You must know the meaning. You must be able to describe um, gear. Description of gear, you should be able to explain what they mean uh, or what you understand by gear and all that. And the third one is that you should know the part of gear, okay? And also application of gear, how it can be applied to our normal daily life, everyday life, okay? Then the last one is that you must know the uses, what are they being used for, okay? So gears. A gear is a wheel and axle that has teeth along the wheel. Just like the picture I showed you in my first um, slide where the gear is rolling, you still see more of it. You know, it is made up of um, round material with um, teeth. Okay, several teeth. It could be two, it could be three, it could be more. But the interesting thing about it is that they, they key into each other. They keep rolling each other. So often they are used in combination with one another and change the direction of forces. The size of gear determines the speed at which it rotates. Okay? Gear are often used in machines to increase the force and speed. I guess we should underline that this is one of the uses of um, gear, okay? So, gear as a simple machine, okay? Gear are also important simple machine. You know, anything you can use in achieving, um, maybe you want to carry out some activities, something is helping you out more efficiently than what you can do yourself so you can call that kind of thing simple machine okay so a gear is just a wheel with teeth sometimes called a cog to do any work with a gear you need to have at least two cogs with their teeth fitting into each other okay at least two what cogs with their teeth fitting into each other that's a good point because the teeth fit together when you turn one gear the other one turn two okay when you turn one the other one what turns two okay the the last point here is that gear come in many they come in many different sizes, okay? Which help them do work. If we connect one big gear with a small one, you can turn the big one, big gear slowly. It will make the little gear turn quickly. You see, you can see the um, idea behind this thing. So it, the big one, you just need a little, to energy a small energy to turn the big one okay if you connect one big gear with a small one you can turn the big gear slowly and it will make the little gear turn quickly so just a little application of uh, force on the big gear will make the little one turn what quickly okay since it takes less energy to turn the big gear slowly than it would to turn the little one quickly you are saving energy and making work what easier by using gears okay so this is a pictorial representation this is how they look like if you look here you see here we fit it into here 
So that's the that's the idea behind the um they are working um efficiency. So they must hook each other, they must be able to roll without teeth. Okay, there's another one here. Can you see? Yeah. So the big one can easily roll the small one. Even if we just put a tilt, just a tilt, as if you use your tip of your hand to push the big one, the small one will roll quickly. So that's the idea behind it. These are different types of um, gear that we have. Okay, a little spore gear. We have the internet gear. We have um, sector gear. We have rack gear. So you can always read more to have more of this knowledge um on this uh topic for today so this is another one you can see from machine okay examples of machine that use gears number one on my list is um car you know cars uh they have gear they will tell you to change the gear and all that can you remember so cars have what gear so second one on my list is bicycle so bicycles also then the, the the third one is winches and you you can go on and on your um egg beater that you use in missing the egg at home if you look closely into it you see that there's gear in in it so we have several several um simple machine that you use you don't even know that it has such a thing in there so you have to be inquisitive okay you have to know more always look at things around you to grab some at least application of this knowledge we've been talking about all as well so look at the bicycle here so at the red point the bigger one at the front is what is the light gear and the other one behind the um the hind um what do you call this hind um wheel is the small gear so it helps the bicycle to move faster or for the bicycle to gain energy as you are pedaling the bicycle you see that it will be moving with the help of this gear rolling okay with the you know on their tooth eh you have something like a chain okay chain is holding them together that's what is being pointed up right here so I want you to do something under our class activities today. You have to tell me, think of other machine. It could be in your kitchen or in your sitting room. Anything you feel um, as gear. You know what gear is with a diagram right now. So just try to see if you can see, list them, list at least 10. Okay, I want to know other machines that use what gears. Then, um, description of gears when you are driving a vehicle, changing gear one to gear two will increase the what energy to increase the energy of the engine, which will reflect will be reflected on the driving wheel. You see the 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 speed at which the vehicle was moving when you were using gear one. There will be change because there will be more there will be increase in speed which is acceleration the car will accelerate more when you change the gear to gear so same thing three four five and six as the case may be so they they always increase as you increase the um gear so raising the total of the car without changing the gear we make the vehicle to make heavy noise so when you are driving make sure when you are of age to drive anyway because by now you shouldn't be driving so you realize that if you raise the throttle of the car without changing the gear you hear some horrible noise that will make people to say what's going on so when now you change the gear to gear four or five the noise will stop and the driving wheel will move very fast and the sound of the vehicle will be cool. That's when you enjoy the ride. So these are part of the application of gear.
So you can use it to transmit power between a prime mover and driven machine. In addition to the simple transmission of power, gear drives usually change or modify the power being transmitted by. This is the first one, reducing speed or increasing output torque. Then increasing the speed also, changing the direction of shaft rotation, changing the angle of shaft operation, and so many. So you can see several types of gear here. Okay, you have them, as I showed you earlier on, you have the spur, you have the elite, elite car, you have the double elite car, you have the bevel, you have spiral. In short, there are many. So I just wanted to try to make research and know more about all these things so application and uses on the application we will look at several applications you know metal cutting mach uh, machines there is a kind of gear that is inside those kind of uh, machine it's called spore gear you can see it in your marine engine in power plane in mechanical clock and wrist watches Okay, all these watches. If you open the bag, I didn't ask you to do engineering work on your work clock or wristwatch. But at times, when 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 the engine of a wristwatch, for example, wristwatch is being opened, you see something like what I just showed you now. Gear, it's called gear. It could be small. It could not be as big as this, but you have it in there under fuel pump too it's they all use um gear your washing machine inside it there's a gear that drives the engine okay so you have a lot of them you have a lot so many new inventions or innovations improve or change a specific quality of an existing device often they are used in simple machines such as levers gears and leakages to to achieve one or more of the following effects just like in the case of your the tray you know on your cd player the dvd or your it could be your uh, hype um, what do they call it right now that you take along your mp5 or mp4 player there's something that normally holds the um cd your normal cd plates that you put inside your dvd that tray inside that tray you have something called gear there so with the help of that gear you, you notice that when you put a cd into your dvd player it takes some time it will roll that's the work of the gear in there so it's doing some little work for your machine or your dvd to work properly so same thing you can see it here you can see it so that's what really help out in playing of your movies and music so you can see the application of um gears here so in data gathering badges incentives all these um machines are using doing all this your phone your laptop your desktop every in short you have them there they could be small as small as this they could be big they could be bigger than this you have gear there so you can see the application in several ways so you have them here okay so try and take your time to look through and just enjoy the um explanation there so uses of gears gears can make things move in different direction more quickly or slowly it depends on the way you want it for instance you want to be moving at 10 kilometer per hour you just be riding your car and everybody will be like leave the road leave the road so you can take your time to go slowly or quickly whichever one so example of common object we get are non-digital um clocks just like i told you earlier on and we have vehicles we have drills we have manual can opener you know on your can cook for instance or can mot there's something that is being put on top that's a gear to so help you in opening um in opening your your what's it called your drink okay so two 
gear are used to expand the physical limits of human being you can see that in your powered wheelchair it could expand make lift you up and all that and all these um um are lifts that they use in some companies or in some homes when you are going to topmost floor like 250th floor or the ground floor you have them you have the application there is helps the machine to work very well okay the third one gear make it easier for a vehicle to overcome resistance against motion what's the resistance against motion that's friction that we did the other time so with the gear it helps us in vehicles to overcome what resistance what could resist um the motion the movement of the vehicle so you can always use um gear to resist what to overcome the resistance against motion okay i want you to stay happy and um i have been seeing your your class um activities and involvement i want you to keep it up keep doing what you know how to do best you know one thing about learning is that when you hear um when you're in the class you hear some new things you have to take your time and read more about it okay read more study more and make sure you answer some questions so it will make the um the knowledge you've gained to stick in the memory okay at times majority of what you write down help you in your work to know more about things so enjoy your day i have a pleasant